How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble, today's video is going to be very, very quick here. I'm not too sure if you ever have any problems with your um, SD cards, your memory cards for your cameras. The past two years, um, the odd time out I got a notification that actually says this memory card cannot be used, card may be damaged, and start another. Now this has been happening to me for probably about two years on different occasions. And I actually thought it was a damage in the card. You should take a card out and turn the camera off and put it in. And it's still, and sometimes, you know, still never, when you get a couple, one or two shots, next you see the card cannot be read. Now, I've got a brand new card there only uh, last week, and it's working perfectly. And of course, it happened again. So I said to myself, shit, what's happened here? Is it, is it down to the card? But it's not because all my cards would happen. It would happen to from time to time. It basically it just says, this memory card cannot be used. Card may be damaged and start another card. And you can't really get any further. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to solve it. It will certainly solve for me. Now, I can't take all the credit for it here. Um, there's a guy on F-Stop Studios on YouTube. I watched his video and I give it a crack and it works perfectly. Now, basically what happens is, is that once you've taken a card, more than likely there's a file inside your card. Where I've been making a mistake, sometimes I would drag um, a file, if I'm making a video, I would drag the actual video from the card, drop it into the um, Sony Vegas as an edit, and I added it. When you do that there, it's going to put another file on the actual memory card, and that's that's what's actually stopping the card, it's triggering it. So what you want to do is with, take it out. So I'll give you an example of what you actually do. Now you obviously you put your card in, uh, let's see. Okay, you just go through your usual DC one M, click uh, on, and I say just basically every buddy system is going to be the thing. And then when you open it up, go into your folder. I'm going into the D thirty three hundred. I say open it up, and there I've got like eight files in there. Now obviously I've got the, I've got the standard video files, and I've also got the uh, raw files there. But see, I wonder in the center, yeah, the DCS thirty eight. That's a bogeyman, that's an SFX file. That's because I dragged that in. Now, what you're just going to do, you're just going to delete that. And that's the only one. You're not deleting any of your other files. But what you just do, you just right click onto it. And you would actually delete that file out of it. And when you do that, um, when you actually do that, you'll find that when you put your card in, you'll never have a problem with it. So, more than likely, unless it is a damaged card, of course. But as I can show you, it's a new card, and even my other cards are constantly doing it. And it's my fault because what I'm doing is, is I'm dragging a file from that card and dropping it into the editing software, tweaking it and things like that, and thinking I'm doing no harm. But what it does is it leaves another file format inside that card that your camera cannot recognize. So just look for the bogeyman there. Go through your files. Keep obviously your, um, if you're shooting JPEG, your JPEG or your RAW files, your photo files. And also your um, MPEGs, keep them in there. But look for any of the bogeyman ones sitting there. And I guarantee if you delete it off, um, that should work fine. Unless, of course, it's damaged. There you go, guys. That's a quick tip. As I say, I can't take a credit for it. Um, but a good guy put it up a couple of years back there. And I've just found it the other day. It works a treat. And I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, well done, F-Stop Studios. Um, thanks for putting that video out there. Guys, send you love from Aaron. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and on Facebook and also on ramblewithmycamera.com. You can check out my Flickr page. All links are down below. Send you love from Aaron, guys.